In this tutorial, we shall learn how to create a web pub service on the Azure portal. Now, before I go further, I'll explain briefly about this web pub sub service. This service works on your web socket protocol. This means that your client or uh, I would say this application it has to push a request to web pub sub service it has to push some data to web pub sub service according to the requirements of the web socket protocol and then this web pub sub service it will push that data further to the connected devices these devices connect through web socket connection and in this tutorial, our task is to create an account for this and initiate and initiate it and get the connection string and the name of the hub so that we can use it in our project in the coming tutorials. So let me first give an overview of the steps. First of all, you will have to go to the Azure portal and create an account for yourself. This account is free up to certain limit but since it is a bit payment story you will have to go through the entire plus and minus of the whole thing and accordingly create an account for yourself. I won't be able to tell how to do that because for that you will have to do some sort of self study and let us say you are able to create an account and then in the Azure services you will see there create a resource you will click on this one and it will open a, another window where you will enter web pub sub service you will search it and once you search it this will appear and there you can proceed with the create process this is roughly about it and therefore let me now actually log in into my portal and show all these steps so that you can do them on your own also. So this is my portal. I have logged in, created an account. In fact, a web pub sub service is already created because I was testing around it. And but still I will continue from all the steps. Here you can see uh, this is already listed because this is one of the recent ones that I was doing. So in your case this might not be visible so click on create a resource and here select or rather type web pub sub service and this story opens you can see and here we will click on this web pub sub service and here we will click on create you can go through plans and all that story yourself. But let us go through the steps required. So once we have this web pub sub service and then we can click on create and it will take some time. Here it says uh, subscription. I am choosing my pay as you go. Resource group you can choose as new subscription. These resource groups are already created by me in my Azure account and uh, I will show them to you in a moment also so that is why they are all appearing in the uh, drop down this new subscription is a name given by me it is not new subscription it is a name that has been given by me uh, because maybe I took some default at that time the name of the service here we can enter I can write my web pub uh, service region you can pick closest to you whatever is there because I'll be deleting it so I'm just uh, then there is a pricing tier change here we have a free you can go through the pricing according to your needs and once you have picked the pricing and everything all these four or five fields then you can click on review and create and here a free uh, summary will appear but be careful because these things are paid and sometimes accidental clicks they do cause a problem so after you have satisfied yourself and this create button becomes available then 
you can click on this create and allow the process to take place. Submitting deployment. So it is expected to be completed unless my quota is over that is something else. It will take long time and after a long time it says it's complete go to resource and uh, now this is a quite quite a complicated story you will have to still go through everything uh, but I'll come directly to the point of interest I will come to this keys under settings you will see keys click on this keys and let the page open you should enable this is the host name my web pub sub service dot this you will have to copy this for later use in the next tutorials we will need the name of this host and we will need this primary connection string starting with endpoint copy it somewhere and you can recycle them by clicking regenerate from time to time they say it is recommended and type the name of the hub so this hub will also be needed so connection string hub these all things will be needed in the hub you can type my hub or leave it hub nothing else needs to be changed here you don't have to change uh, this is not required because it will be picked programmatically we will pick this programmatically because it has a lifetime of 60 minutes so we will have to pick it programmatically because it is not possible to come to the portal after every 60 minutes we will uh, discuss how to take it programmatically the only thing is you will need the name of the hub and you will need this primary connection string this one and in fact this will also be calculated automatically by our program so the two things that you will need are this key connection string and the name of the hub so these are the things you will need but uh, uh, before I close let me delete this resource because accidental this adds to my quota also I have already have a web service so web pub service which I'll be using and now I will just click on this one and I will delete it away so that I do not have any uh, I'm still just don't need this instance and then I can possibly I'll do it later and you can I'm closing the video right now thank you